It is, it is. The reason we really object to this is because the, we have the highest taxes in Travis County of any metropolitan county in Texas. And we got here a little bit at a time, a dollar at a time, a nickel at a time, a little expansion here, a little growth of tax rate over there, and it all adds up. You know, it's like dying a death from a thousand small cuts. So the proponents say, oh, it's only a nickel of taxes. But those little small increments have got us to where we are now, which is an unaffordable tax burden here in Travis County. So the, the taxes are already too high. We need tax relief, not incremental tax increases. You are in UT and Seton can both pay for the school. Absolutely. They have the resources to pay for this. We also need to point out that we just got a teaching hospital medical school up in Round Rock, and there was no property tax increase for the medical school that opened in 2009. You know, the fact is that no medical school in our history has demanded a property tax before it would be created. That's something new, and voters need to know that. It's never been done before. The indefinite time span of this, uh, usually bonds uh, expire after 20 years, 10 years. This would be a permanent This would really be a permanent tax increase. You know, we need to ask uh, homeowners and taxpayers, how many times have you seen your taxes really drop? How many times do these taxing entities eliminate a tax increase. The answer is practically never. They only ratchet them up. So we're deeply concerned and we're urging voters to vote against this unaffordable and really unnecessary medical Senator Watson is always being in charge Are you at all concerned about uh, is, uh, some of the cronies in this Some of the cronies in this We are concerned. Uh, as far as the election goes, we can see that the charm of Kirk Watson is, is simply phenomenal, but his facts are just way off base. One of the things the proponents have done, including Senator Watson, was talk about 15,000 jobs and $2 billion of, of economic activity, but they have never disclosed a report that talks about these numbers. There's been no analysis of if this is fictitious. Are these crazy numbers like we got from the Intel project that wound up in the downtown empty shell? So there's been no disclosure on where that report came from. Where did these claims come from? Uh, we know that uh, somebody was paid, TXP.com was paid for this, an undisclosed amount by undisclosed donors by an undisclosed corporation. So they've taken this report that no one knows what it is or who paid for it, and they're saying, oh, you're going to get 15,000 jobs and $2 billion. We think it's nonsense, and they won't disclose where that information comes from.